A little queasy. Queasy? Yeah. That's probably from your nerves. The day's the day that I take Tammy to go have her weight loss surgery to help her get better. This day has been a long time coming. Hell, it was, it kind of seems unrealistic because I didn't ever think this day would get here. Well, Tammy, we're here. Mm -hmm. Give me a second and I'll get your wheelchair. Unfortunately, due to COVID restrictions, there's only two people allowed to go into the hospital with Tammy. So Chris and Misty are gonna go there because they're the two oldest. And Dr. Smith has opened up his office um, right next to the hospital for the rest of the family to be there waiting. Let me give her a hug before y'all go. Yeah. Yeah. Don't cry. Girl, you got this, and we'll be waiting uh, next door for you. Now you're here. Tammy's been given so many chances. You know, how many more times are you going to have to, like, knock on death's door and cheat death? Or how many times is God going to say, no, my child has work to do still here and let you stay? Like she might go in there in a wheelchair and come out in a body bag. Because let's just face it, I mean, it's, it's a serious surgery. I love y'all. Oh. I'm, I'm tired. I'm I know you're tired. You are tired, but you're gonna take a little nap when you get back here, so you'll get to go back to sleep. Tammy's always had a fear of being put to sleep and not waking up, so She's facing one of her biggest fears in life. To have this surgery. You ready for this? It's happening. You just, your body's gonna change faster than what your mind can keep up with. So get ready, girl. It's, it's been coming. A good. I know we none of us like change, but it's a good thing. Change is a good thing. I need a nap. Hey, that's coming. <laughs> All right, girl. Love you. Love you. See you in a little bit. We'll see you when you wake up. You got this, girl. <laughs> Good morning. How are you? Okay. You ready? I feel so many emotions going. It's, it's scary because my fate is in the doctor's hands right now. You nervous? A bit. That's normal. That's normal. Um, you've done all you needed to do. That's pretty awesome. You have any questions for me? Oh well, my goodness, over with. <laughs> right now. We're taking you back right now, okay? If we don't do surgery, her chances of living much longer than five years are are probably approaching close to zero. But she's definitely gonna be challenging. There's no doubt about it. The actual surgery time should be about an hour and a half. But if there are complications, it could be longer than that. There are real risks, risk of bleeding, risk of leaks, risk of death, um, and everything in between. Um, and we have to accept those risks. All right, trocar, please. All right, I'll take the livery tractor. I'm hoping everything goes smooth, you know, no food bars. It's a big word for you. I know. <laughs> I'm bringing out the big words today because I'm nervous. <laughs> she, you know, my surgery was drastic. Mm -hmm. You know, they cut 30% of my stomach out. They're removing 80% of her stomach and removing 30% of her small intestine. Tammy's procedure was designed for patients that are typically non-compliant. 
not only is the sleeve going to help to control the amount of food she eats, they remove the first eight or 10 inches of her small intestines, which with that being removed, she's not going to absorb as much of the food that she eats. Tammy's surgery is a whole lot more extreme than mine. So, you know, that's in itself a whole lot more nerve wracking. Tammy's having surgery right now, and I'm waiting on the doctor to come out any damn time. The two hour mark is hit, and the whole family's impatient. I'm thinking the absolute worst. All done. She did awesome. Cool. She did great. She did. She did really well. Wonderful. She Wonderful. Um, didn't have any problems. Everything looked great, just like we wanted to go. When Dr. Smith comes in and tells us everything went fine, you just feel a sense of relief. It's kind of like having to hold a pee for about 45 minutes, and you're about to piss your pants, and you finally get to the bathroom. And it's like, oh, yeah. All right, she's right in here. Hey, Tim. What's up, Funky? Huh? What's up, Funky? Why you look funky? Yeah, I said, what's up, Funky? Man, <laughs> you know, I'll take that one this time. Next time you get ass whooping, but it's okay. I'll take it this round. You feeling all right? Baby doll, I'll be part of it for a minute. So get it under that control. Hurts. Oh, baby, that's another day I think. Start walking. Fair warning, just start walking. It'll take care of a lot of issues, trust me, walk. Seeing Tammy alive after surgery, joking and cutting up is a blessing because actually it's a miracle. Today, she got a new life. We just want to check in, all right? All right, girl. All right, Love we'll you. check back on you in a couple hours. Take care, baby. All right, I'll come check on you later when you get to your room, okay? Okay. You know, Tammy's not completely out of the woods yet. I mean, yeah, she's successfully had the surgery, but the next 14 days is going to be a slow recovery. And then she's had to relearn how to eat everything. So, I mean, if she don't listen to what the doctor has to say, it could cause a whole lot more. Everything the doctor just did could be undone. 